Well, hello there. How are we doing today? So this is Nate. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I know I have. I'm gonna take a look at this really nice, large, three bedroom, two bath home with an office. I suppose you could probably use the office as a den if you wanted to. But it's set up to be an office. It's what I would use it as. So as you can see, it's a really big home. Now they are pretty close together. I'm not gonna be able to get around the back side there. So I'll come back around the front here and so I'm not sure if I mentioned, we are at Lichty Homes in Bismarck, North Dakota. This is a Bonavilla home. So this is one of the top end manufacturers. And when we get in, they won't, uh, he won't be let down, trust me. Somebody had to slam on the brakes. So I just kind of get the best I can for the back here. Just kind of wanted to point out that sliding glass door down there. And with that, we'll come back around and head on into the home. So now some of these homes, as you can see, they've got underpinnings on. Some of them they don't. These are just show models that you order off of. So when we come in, there's your front door. Really nice foyer. Kind of nice to see. A lot of these homes I've noticed here, Lichty homes, they've all got a foyer when you come in. Kind of separates it out, gives you that more high-end feeling. As I said, Bonavilla is one of the higher-end homes. This is going to be your living room. As you can see, this is a large living room. I believe these are nine foot ceilings. They're not flat ceilings. They all taper upwards. Now, mind you, the marriage lines have not been trimmed out in any of these homes. So keep that in mind. Now, come around here and we'll take a look. Oh, we'll do the office first. I was going to go right into the right into the dining room, but let's come get this office. I like the fact that they've got it set up as an office. Really kind of gives you more of a feel of how you could set this up and how it would work. Some of the options you can get on this home. Here's some of the others that they've got. So now let's go ahead and head into the dining room. So you've got a large hanging light fixture there. Now I can, I can see that you all are going to notice that that's not level. Obviously when this home is set up, that will be leveled out and hanging properly. There's that sliding glass door. 
And we've got the large island. A lot more storage space down below. Great big drawers for your pots and pans. What's a good spot for them? Right next to the stove where you're going to use them. Right behind the dishwasher and the sink. So after you get done washing them, you just turn around and put them away. These stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. A couple of pullouts. You can put all your spices in here. We got one on this side too. Nope, just the regular old cabinet there. And back in here, we've got our big pantry. And I wasn't sure what was behind door number one here. You usually don't see a door in your pantry. Water heater access. Easy access, easy to get to. Of course, you will have to pack it out a little bit in order to get it out of here, but nice that they gave you good, easy access to your water heater. Let's head back this way and we'll go check out the uh, guest bathroom in the kids' rooms. And once again, I was not let down when it came to the guest bathroom. So far, every home that I have filmed here at Lichty Homes, the guest bathroom has been different than the standard design. Once again, we've got dual sinks in the guest bathroom. Hello, Raiden. Great big vanity mirror. Nice light fixtures up above it. Plenty of storage down below. And you've got the one piece shower tub combo. Nice deep tub in here. And then your guest bathroom includes a separate water closet with a pocket door. Like I said, a I have yet to be let down in any of these homes as far as doing something out of the norm from your standard modular or manufactured home. It's really nice to see somebody trying to do something different. And in your hallway, if you noticed when we came down, just kind of opens up nice and wide. And your bedrooms are nice big bedrooms. So as you can tell, you've got lots of space in here. Got overhead vents. Big closet space. So that was bedroom number one. Bedroom number two is quite a bit bigger. Even got this little kick out just to kind of break up the wall a little bit, give you even more space. So you got the sliding doors though for your closet. Try to get you a good shot of the closet. Not going to get down there. So 
So let's head down and check out your master bedroom. And you won't be disappointed. Once again, you've got that kick out on the window right there. Now your master bathroom. Once again, you've got double sinks, great big vanity. It's about the same size as what the uh, guest bathroom was. Great big soaker tub. And that is fairly deep. Of course, it's just the camera never does these tubs justice when you're trying to show how deep they are. A couple of nice floating shelves up above your tub there. We got pocket door going into your toilet area. Even the same design as what the guest bathroom was. So the biggest difference between this one and your kid's bathroom, you got the big soaker tub and then just as large, not larger, tile shower. And the tile goes almost all the way to the ceiling, all the way around. So six foot by four foot. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying the video. Thanks for sticking around. I do appreciate you watching the videos. And if you're liking these videos, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. These are really nice homes by Bonavilla. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So we got to get you some price information for this home. This is the Redwood by Bonavilla Homes. It is a modular, so that requires a crane, and you got to have foundation and other things like that that add to the cost of the home. Bonavilla is a top manufacturer of the home. So with that said, I'm just going to get right into the price, keep it kind of short. The price on this one starts at $350,000. You know, the, granted that includes your crane and your setup and delivery and all that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, I hope that helps you out a lot. And uh, like I said, keep this one kind of short. And uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on the notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.